Hello and welcome to Reverse Engineering Your Network to Build Golden Configuration and Automation. In this workshop, we're trying to understand your network's features and states leading to your golden configuration, then enable automation to prevent drift. You can catch our workshop every Tuesday at 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. So what is reverse engineering? Well, I want you to think of reverse engineering as your day one projects. So you've done your discovery, you've done your digital twin, and now what you want to do is group your devices via feature so we can look for any configuration violations because we're already in the configuration. So why can't we group our devices based on BGP presets or NTP presets or anything really that we can find in the configuration we can group your devices for? Now, what this allows us to do is run golden configuration. So predefine what a golden configuration is so we can look for violations. What this is going to do is it's going to um, increase the integrity of your network environment over time. So you're going to be able to identify these discrepancies across your network a lot quicker and more efficiently. So what we're going to be building during these workshops are examples such as this NTP server one. So if I click into this, you can see exactly what we're looking for. We've predefined a, a golden configuration, sorry, with the NTP config over there as and now we're looking for the target configuration and ensuring that there is a match otherwise we will have unmatched lines or pattern which will appear in red such as this snmp example here now that's for golden config now we will also be building golden intent so what the golden intent would look like is by looking for something such as state for example, if you have an active standby device, we can look for that. Or if we have an OSPF area ID, um, we can look for that as well. And now we're creating an intent to get, we can schedule to look at that information. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at this OSPF config one. We've identified the A again as OSPF area ID zero. So what NetBrain is going to do is go across your network environment, find all the devices on OSPF area zero, which you could see here, and it's going to be able to run checks to ensure that nothing has changed or there is no violations on our network. So let's go ahead and run this and actually take a look at what it looks like. Now NetBrain is going to ask me to map the other associated devices. So this is going to map all the adjacencies on that same area ID. I'm gonna hit yes. And now we can actually see NetBrain was able to map out the entire area ID with the OSPF configuration overlaid. Make sure you check our other workshops to see what else is new in release 12.